your Chris 6 weather forecast. Hi, everybody, and welcome back. Yeah, well, now that we've had all this rain, it is going to be very humid, but at least temperatures are under control for now. But as we dry out later in the week, the humidity will stay behind, but the temperatures will rise. So Beach to Bay, take note, and also for the shrimpery over in Aransas Pass. We did have showers and thunderstorms roll through this morning right here coming in off the Gulf and spreading northwest. This is exactly the opposite of the rain we had Saturday, which came in from the west. So we're right on the verge of getting into our tropical weather pattern with rain coming from the tropics or the uh, Gulf as opposed to the west. And speaking of west, there is a ton of uh, showers and thunderstorms out here along and west of I-35, and it is really coming down. This is in our watershed. This is a real blessing right here. There's Pearsall and up towards Kerrville and down to Catula. It is just pouring all the way back to uh, Crystal City and Uvalde, and that's right in our watershed. You can see that heavy rain right there, and maybe that'll help out our water supply a little bit more. You can see also the heavy rain that happened just north uh, today of uh, B in Live Oak County. Here is B County though. They got the southeastern half of it got in on it as did San Patricio County along the bayfront about seven tenths, about two tenths northwest of Portland. I personally had 1.45 inches in the uh, Jim City this morning and it rained pretty heavy out here uh, south of Robstown, southeast of Robstown in Oasis County and then also several areas around Sinton and Skidmore that had uh, between one and two inches of rain today. Sinton had about seven tenths as the uh, thunder showers went around that region. So not too much in the city though. 73 and 85 officially two hundredths of an inch of rain. That was it. But we are two and a half above normal for the year. And there is that huge area of storms that's caught under a light wind regime out there to the west that's dumping uh, very heavy rain at about four inches an hour. This front will approach keeping our winds light and will dissipate here, uh, resulting in us drying out as this low kicks out. But between this low and this high, the moisture has been trapped in the area. But you can see how it is beginning to weaken as that high drifts further and further away from us and the low fizzles out. So here's what things are shaping up on the future tracker. About 4 a.m. we'll pick up some showers near the coast. Again, nothing heavy or severe. And uh, then some additional activity will be around uh, tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. And then just uh, left with clouds on Wednesday morning and sunshine Wednesday afternoon as we dry out here through the remainder of the week. Rainfall amounts for what's coming tomorrow could total uh, some places over an inch. You can see uh, Corpus Christi. That doesn't mean we're going to get an inch. That's just on the average. And then out towards Freer, other areas seeing one to two tenths of an inch of rain. So we still have these pockets of heavier uh, thunder showers. So this was today's rain. Here is tomorrow's opportunity. And then notice how it drops off to next to nothing and picking up slightly here, but not until Sunday. The winds, yeah, they're going to be down tonight and nearly calm. Uh, through six in the morning, averaging about 10 miles an hour or less. And the same here tomorrow afternoon. So very light winds. You Mariners got to love it. Dog walking, uh, Preston loves that with temperatures in the mid 70s. Hopefully your dog does too. And uh, we'll see fair skies this evening. Light southeast winds at about five. The rain is over. Upper 60s inland to 70 here and mid 70s on the coast. And highs tomorrow reach 84 here, a little warmer than today. Again, with those scattered showers around, it will stay humid. All right, so seven day forecast 84 tomorrow. Then uh, we'll see 87 as we clear out on Wednesday, 90 here Thursday, Friday. And then for all the events going on this weekend, 89 on Saturday. Isolated showers in 90 on Sunday and 89 for Monday. Low temperatures will actually be a little below normal for this time of the year until we get to early.